Three days ago, WhatsApp announced that they patched a very dangerous vulnerability in their very popular messaging app, WhatsApp. This vulnerability can be used to hack into any phone by simply calling that phone. This is Zaid from Z Security, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through everything that we know about this vulnerability, and I wanna hear your opinion on the speculations that this vulnerability could be somehow deliberate. So let's break it down. First of all, WhatsApp is very, very popular. Most of us use it. In fact, there are more than 1.5 billion users on it. That's billion, not million. A billion is a thousand million. So there is more than 1,500 million users on WhatsApp. Let's just take a second to let this number sink in. There are so many users on it. And all of these users have been vulnerable for a while now for a very dangerous vulnerability where hackers can hack into any phone that has this app installed by simply calling the phone. Not only that, you don't even need to answer the phone call to hack into your phone. So they can call you while you're sleeping. You're not gonna hear this call, but it is enough for them to gain access to your phone. Then when they gain access, they can even remove or delete the call that allowed them to gain the access. So by the time you wake up and look at your phone, there won't even be a missed call. So you won't even suspect anything, but the hackers would get full control over your phone. And as shown in my social engineering course and in my talk at the Global Cybersecurity Summit in Orlando, once a hacker gains access to your phone, it's pretty much game over. They're gonna have full control over the phone. They're gonna be able to see your contacts, your call log, your messages. They'll be able to access the phone components. So they'll be able to turn on the webcam. They'll be able to turn on your mic and even get your exact location using the GPS. Now, hackers could do this for a while now, it's nothing new, but the problem is to do that, they had to social engineer their target to do something, or they had to serve him a fake update, get him to click on a link or open an email. So the target had to at least do something, at least just update their phone or update a program. With this method though, as I said, it's very simple. They really need nothing. All they need is your phone number and they'll be able to hack into your phone. See, this is possible because of the nature of WhatsApp. Being a messaging program, its purpose is to allow you to receive data from other phones if they send you messages or images or even call you. Therefore, if hackers send specially crafted data, and if the phone is vulnerable, if the application is vulnerable, they'll be able to hijack the execution of the program. And this is exactly what's happening. In this vulnerability, hackers are exploiting the voice over IP stack whenever a call is initiated. So whenever someone tries to call you, they send a number of specially crafted packets that will allow them to hijack the execution of the program and therefore get it to execute malicious code. This code can be anything. It could be malware. It could be spyware. In fact, there has been a report published by the Financial Times that this exploit has been used in the wild to install a spyware called Pegasus. This is spyware made by the NSO Group, which is an Israeli firm that sells monitoring software to governments that allow them to pretty much do all of the things that I already mentioned, such as turn on your cam or turn on your mic and so on. Now, Facebook did release updates, so you wanna make sure that you're running the latest version of WhatsApp. For Android, you want to be running at least 2.19.134 and for iOS, you want to be running 2.19.51. Anything before that is probably vulnerable. Now, because of everything that I said so far, because messaging apps are prone to be vulnerable to such attacks because they always receive data from different sources that potentially are untrusted, 
Unlike other apps such as your calendar, it'll never receive data from sources, never mind untrusted sources. Because of that, and because how big Facebook is, and because of how much resources they have, and because this vulnerability existed for so long and was actually used in the wild, a lot of people are speculating that this vulnerability could be there on purpose. On the other hand, I've actually worked in cybersecurity for a while and I've seen so many companies make simple mistakes that could compromise big systems. So this could very well be a simple oversight or a mistake. What I really wanna know is what do you guys think? Do you think that this is a simple oversight or a mistake or do you think something bigger is happening here? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel to stay updated with the latest in cybersecurity.